Hey, what's up guys? I'm Alan from Alan's Inventions, and on today's video I will focus on trying not to lean too much in my chair. Now that I've put that on camera, welcome to my channel. I normally do tech videos, I do solar panels, I do Raspberry Pi stuff, I do emulator stuff, I put a whole friggin' emulator in a shoebox, don't ask me why, I just did. I do nitro truck stuff. Uh, mainly because that's the only one I have right now, but I want to do more RC videos, more solar power videos, more battery videos, and eventually cryptocurrency videos. Wait, I'm doing a cryptocurrency video now. So if you're expecting one of the other categories, this video is not for you, but if you're expecting a cryptocurrency video, I hope you enjoy. I'm going to be walking you guys through how I built my very first uh, Ethereum mining rig using an RTX 3080. Spoiler alert. And I'm going to be walking you guys through... The process from beginning to end this is part one of three at least for now part one is going to be giving you guys a breakdown of uh, parts cost total cost <clears throat> what i expect as an roi a return on investment how long it's going to take and then part two is going to be assembling of the parts initial setup uh, what mining hash rate i get and then part three is going to be just kind of a long-term outlook after having some um, time with the mine are actually up and running so in this video again I'm gonna be as detailed as I can I'm gonna give you guys the exact cost parts list and just overall setup that I did and I'm gonna go through to get this thing up and going so I hope you uh, enjoy this video and uh, before we get started if you hit the like and subscribe button down below I really want these videos to do well because cryptocurrency is a thing that I'm interested in as well so I hope you guys are too and I hope that uh, yeah, this thing works out because I've never built a mining rig for Ethereum before. So, let's get started. try to look at the camera as much as I can you guys I'm gonna take this whole screen and wait for it. let's see if I can do this boom I'm down here now you see this hopefully it works because I got to figure out which side I'm going to position it in but basically I'm gonna walk you guys through the parts list I'm gonna be using this uh, Asus tough gaming geoforce RTX 3080 10 gigabyte card as the main GPU in my mining rig um, <laughs> these are it's a terrible time to buy video cards right now. Um, I'm sure many gamers are blaming people like myself for using them to mine. It's actually the manufacturers that are, you know, impacted by COVID and just short, you know, silicon and whatever reason, if it's to generate hype or whatever, there's just a shortage of video cards out there. And with cryptocurrencies reaching new all-time highs, it's driving a lot of new investors into the market as well. So supply is very little and demand is very high. So this card should have cost $750. It didn't. I'm not going to tell you guys exactly how much. I'm just kidding. Yes, I am. It cost me $1,150 for the video card alone. Uh, it's a 10 gigabyte GDDR6X um, memory. And like I said, it's going to be the main workhorse for my first mining rig. I expect to get about 90, well, let me back up a little bit, based on the research I've done versus the 3080 and the 3090, um, I decided to go with the 3080 because I expect with the right settings to get about 100 mega hashes per second, which once I type into one of these calculators online, I'll leave plenty of links down below you guys, I want to make sure that you guys see exactly what I'm doing. Uh, but when I type that number in into the calculator, it says I should be averaging about $82 to $83 a month. That's after my cost of electricity, which is pretty good because it's profitable. Um, based on that, um, I can't tell you guys my ROI just yet because then you're going to know exactly how much it costs. Uh, I will give you that at the end though. Uh, but basically, I selected that video, video card uh, for my motherboard. I used the... Biostar uh, TB250-BTC um, that's basically going to be what's going to hold all together you know the motherboard <laughs> uh, I plan on using Hive OS um, it looks like it's really good for beginners and um, it's got a lot of features that I like um, it's either that or 
Windows 10 and then Claymore or Phoenix Miner, um, but my first option is HiveOS. Um, next up for the power supply, <laughs> so I'm going to use an Enermax Max Titan EMT 750 EWT. Um, the reason for that is it's, it claims 94% efficiency. Um, that means that I'm not just you know running a space heater. Uh, a lot of that power is being converted, 94% uh, to be exact, according to the specs. So that cost me $263.99. Uh, that's without taxes, without shipping and handling, and um, just the cost of the power supply alone. It is 750 watts. Um, I'll have to upgrade that in the future, but for now, it's a good start, and I think I can run uh, two graphics cards off of that if I decide to add a second uh, 3080. Uh, next, up, next up was my processor. Uh, it doesn't have to be fast, so Intel Celeron G3900, uh, I'm sorry, 3930 dual core. I am using the 1151 socket, uh, so it's going to be Intel base. Um, and then my hard drive, I'm just going to use an old solid state disk that I had laying around. It's a crucial uh, 250 uh, gigabyte SSD. And then lastly, uh, RAM, uh, I'm going to be using just an 8 gigabyte stick, uh, probably G scale or whatever I can get, you know, for 30, 40 bucks. Um, actually, hold on, let's, uh, let me see which one I selected. Okay, yeah, I'm going to use the G scale Aegis 8 gigabyte DDR3000. Um, single stick of RAM. It cost me $32, so that's not bad. Uh, and then after that, uh, the main case. I found one of these cases on eBay. It looks really good. I mean, the plan is to eventually, if this works out, to add more video cards. So I just decided to pull the trigger and bought a, um, a six graphics card uh, uh, chassis. So this thing can hold up to six cards and it has a rack for the motherboard as well as for the power supply. Uh, which I kind of like. It'll be nice and on the corner over there somewhere, uh, warming my whole room up. And somebody's calling me. Shout out to whoever this is. Let me, uh, fuck. <clears throat> All right, now that I've shown you guys the parts that I'm going to be using, uh, as you can see here, uh, my total cost was $1,817.57. Let me start recording because I wasn't. Um, all right, so here's the exact list. Um, put this in here. That was the cost of my GPU. Here's a total shipping and handling. Uh, it's in blue because I bought them together. Uh, so it includes tax, shipping and handling, and then the total of the cost of the parts. Um, so the RAM and the power supply were 330 and then my cooler fan, of course, for the processor. I'm probably going to replace this one <clears throat> with something smaller. I don't think uh, I need that big one, but it's 20 bucks. Uh, the replacement's going to be 10 bucks, so I'll just leave 19.98 in there for um, uh, for reference. 10 dollars less, it's fine. Um, the motherboard, 89.99. And then the processor, $79.95, which brings the total for the motherboard, the CPU, and the CPU cooler to $209.81. Uh, like I said, the solid state drive I already owned, um, but it's about $40 bucks if you're not, uh, um, if you don't have one. And then the case was $49.99. Um, you can see that my total hardware cost was $1,847.57. And I have a $30 rebate minus $10 for the uh, replacement cooler. But for now, um, I'll leave it as that. But here's my final cost again. And at 100 whoops, I messed with this earlier. Let me show you guys exactly what the mining... Uh, let me show you guys exactly the estimated mining power. All right, so I just use CryptoCompare.com. I'm not sponsored or anything, but um, actually I am sponsored. Let me preface that a little. Hold on, back to full screen, boom. All right, for today's sponsor, I'd like to thank myself and my job. I paid for all this crap, all right? Think it's gonna be profitable. I've done the math, and with one card, it's gonna take a lot longer, but if cryptocurrency keeps, uh, 
cryptocurrency keeps going the way it's going, um, it should be able to pull some of the profits out and then reinvest to get a second GPU, cut my ROI time in half, and then gets a full um, payoff uh, within like 16 months. I know it seems, still seems like a lot, but that's at the current rate. Hopefully, of course, the rates keep going up and that ROI um, time frame keeps shrinking. So anyways, buy a sticker from me. Help me pay for this stuff. Here you go. Look, woke. Got shit on these for reasons on Reddit. Because I said woke, but it, they thought it was WBKE. Whatever, I like it. Buy one. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's only a dollar. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. CryptoCompare.com, Ethereum. You have to hit the like button before I continue. It's the only time I'm going to ask. I'm not, you know, like these other YouTubers that spend their whole time advertising, plugging, whatever. I'm trying to do that as minimal as possible. These are the only two plugs I'm dropping, myself and myself, and I'm only asking for a like or a dollar. So either way, you know, if you could help me out, there's only two options. Very easy, very straightforward. I appreciate it. CryptoCompare.com, third time. Okay, so if I put in 100 mega hashes per second, I have power consumption, I expect it to be around 300 watts, and cost of electricity is 0.3 per kilowatt hour. Um, that's just here in my apartment. Uh, you can see here that I'm making about $74.69 per month after the electricity is paid. Um, you can see here it's going to cost me $788.40 per year to run this um, this miner. So if my calculator wasn't on my other screen that I'm currently using to record, I would show you guys what that is per month, but you can just divide that yourselves, right? I hope so. If you're watching this, you probably want to build your own mining rig, so I hope you understand basic math. And I don't. That's why I'm doing this. Alright. That's it for this first video. Um, it's part one of three. I'm not going to try to drag this thing out. Part two is going to be assembly, initial boot, and getting everything going. And then part three is going to be a few months from now. It's going to be basically um, putting together uh, where I'm at, where I thought I would be, and if I'm going to add more cards. So, again, if you could like, subscribe, I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video because it's the first one of its kind. I'm doing cryptocurrency now. Uh, like I said, feel free to check out my other videos. Check out my solar panel, my Raspberry Pi camera. Uh, new YouTuber, so like, subscribe, again, appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in part two. Part two will not necessarily be uh, the video right after this, I think. I have to drop another video before that. Um, but I first have to finish that as well, so... Yeah, thank you guys, and I will see you on the next one.